When it comes to building and developing any project, wet weather conditions and rain absolutely sucks. It's raining behind me and it has done for the last two days. And if I'm building a project in this area, the first thing that's gonna happen is I'm gonna get a request for an extension of time due to adverse weather conditions from the builder. Now, think about it. If it's bucketing down with rain, there's two things that we need to look at. The first one is super obvious. Tradies, they cannot get to site. It's not safe for them to use power tools and things like that. Bit of a no-brainer, really. But the second thing that often gets overlooked is the supply chain of getting the materials safely onto the site itself. Let's use the example of a project that's at the stage where you need to put the bricks up. Now, realistically, bricks are super, super heavy. And if it's been raining for two days, fair to say that there's a lot of water that may sit on top of the block. You can't get the machinery that carries the bricks onto the block and at the back of the block where you need them. It's simply gonna get bogged and it's gonna cause a lot of havoc. So the companies simply do not deliver the days if it's unsafe for them to do that. Now let's use the example of two days of heavy, heavy rain. It may take three days for the rain to dissipate and for the site to become safe to drive heavy machinery on. You will then get not only an extension of time for the two days that it's raining, but also for the three days that it takes for the site to become safe and secure to get all the materials to. So remember that, Wet weather and rain can cause absolute havoc. The two things you need to look at is the labor supply as well as the supply chain as well.